Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Where today? Oh man, I still haven't done those copper screws. I feel like I'm getting so behind on these commissions. It's unreal. Come on, load for me. Uh, ooh. Bye, Mason. Howdy, y'all, and thank y'all for coming. Today's ceremony marks a bittersweet occasion. One of the finest darn builders to ever grace this humble town will be leaving all of us. Excuse but he's me. off to a well-earned retirement. A few words, Mason? <laughs> it appears our dear Mason is overwhelmed with emotion. Come on, folks, lighten up. A toast, then to Mason, and to new beginnings for the future of Sandrock. Yay! So we have completed everything. Oh yeah, Arvio had a quest for me. Hi there. Hi, Builder. I hope the desert sun isn't giving you too much trouble. It can get pretty hot here. Say, speaking of which, I have a commission for you. It's so hard to talk over Cooper singing. Especially when he's basically yodeling. Oh my goodness. Uh, sure. Excellent. I am in need of a sunshade. Do you know what that is? I'm pretty sure it's standard builder stuff. You probably already have a diagram in that handbook of yours. Once you have it built, help me install it on the Oasis front as well. It'll really help me out. Should we dance to... Hooper? <laughs> Somehow this doesn't feel like a party. Come on, y'all. The, the music's great. Let's have yeah. some fun. We can worry about the town's prospects later. Why, yes, Owen. There's no need to worry about our prospects, as we have no prospects to worry about. Hey, Gramps. You're killing the vibe, man. What's with all the doom and gloom? Sand Rock is only up and up, you hear? Soon, everything's going to be smooth sailing. I truly believe it. Justice is right. We have a lot to look forward to. Two new builders. Trudy's close to a breakthrough. Everything will be all right for Sandrock. Oh my goodness, the whole of that conversation, and I hope this didn't happen for you guys. Uh, it depends on how my recording software does it, but the whole of that conversation, I just had Cooper singing in my right ear, but not my left. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is farewell to poor Mason. Off he goes. Let's have a look. A letter. Just a letter. Ooh, an opal. Nice. Uh, dear Sheila, it's pretty neat how you rebuilt the stage after the sandstorm. Actually, you've done a lot of cool things since you got here. Already, Mason's old place looks a lot better than when he lived there. The way he decorated his yard with garbage. I mean, you have to admit it was original, but it just wasn't for me. You're a lot nicer than he is, too. I like how you're always working hard and helping people out. It's a refreshing change of pace. If everyone in the world were more like you, well, at the very least, we'd have a lot of stages. Anyway, here's an opal. You don't have to thank me. I hope it can be the kind a pal that makes you. Oh, sorry, can be the kind of pal that makes you say, "Oh," as the name implies, a secret guy who thinks you're cool. Oh, lovely. I um thanks for the compliments. I did just what needed to be done. I'm glad I left an impression though. Leave your name next time. I'd like to know who you are. I'll just leave this in my letterbox. Maybe you'll see it. Now this works in Sandrock. In the real world, maybe it would be better to say, "Don't send me any more letters." But I'm just going to thank for the compliments. <laughs> if, if that's your latest Tinder date or something, you, know, you might want to be more careful than I'm being. Knew you missed me, can't live without seeing my face, huh? <laughs> Aww, so I got some near relationship points there. Lovely. Right then. Right then, what have we got to do today? We have to finish off our copper screws. So we've managed to do a few of them. Oh, my inventory is full? Really? Like, and there's also things in my storage that shouldn't be in my storage, like my throwing rocks. I need those. 
to get things out of chests. Um, these books I've read now, so I can keep them for future reference, but I don't need to keep them in my inventory. Um, probably a few things like this can go. I don't need fireworks in there. Um, I've got two wooden storages, both called wooden storage. So wooden storage two, I can put my dregs in there, my power stones. I am going to need to look for a, a more permanent solution very, very soon though. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be wanting to look at putting the chests, possibly like make a little room inside or something and just like hide them away. Something like that because otherwise they're just like all over the place, aren't they? And the machi machines are just as bad. I'll have to find some way of sort of dividing up the yard a bit in some kind of way. I don't think we have flooring in this still. I don't know. I, I haven't got any sort of... Um, any sort of things on my radial menu for doing the yard yet so I've got to take a picture or quick save and that's it at the moment so can't do anything until I get a camera till I get a, a few other things unlocked but never mind uh, so let's have a look and see if any copper has been done over here which it has which means I can make more copper screws so we man managed to make four out of twelve um, so we'll need to make another eight which is two times four yeah it is giving me the correct number, that's fine. And I need to make some wooden boards. I don't have any wood for that, so we need to go find some wood scrap or some wood somewhere. There's usually a bit of wood scrap here. A wood pile. And then there's usually also some wood going up towards the sandfish areas. The other thing that I would like to do is um, any fish fossils I've found, I'd like to put them together. I'd also like to make some salted fish to give to Macchiato. I will also give Macchiato that opal. I know I was just giving it as a present. I can't get opals very often and Macchiato really likes them. And the thing is, with any other character, if I play enough rounds of you know if they get behind and I play enough rounds of uh, critters with them and spar enough with them and things like that I'll be able to like catch up but with the animals no so they are like a top top priority for getting anything that I think that they will like and I know that gems are a good one but I'm not entirely sure I want to wait until I can access those gems <laughs> to start making friends with them. So I'll be talking to them every day if I can. I'll be trying to give them gifts where I can. I've got my shiny scorpion thing going on. So if any shiny scorpions run around, um, that's a thing I should look and see if I've actually got any because no, I haven't, of course not. I won't find a single one now. I've spent a point on that. But yeah, there's a chance I might get a shiny scorpion, and if I do, then that's usually somewhere between 10 and 13 points with animals. Uh, apparently, Coco, people have been telling me, likes fish. So I can try giving Coco some of the fish. Right, uh, Coco and... Um, or Deputy Captain, if I want to... I don't know how much I want to make friends with Deputy Captain. It might be cool. It might be, and uh, data discs for Chi. However, talking about Chi, one thing I need to do... Is that really the only quest I have left at the moment? Sunshade. Let's see what I need to do for a sunshade. That requires copper sticks, which I have. Basic leather, which I do not have. Thin thread, which I do have. Oh, okay, I just need to go and like, buy four basic leather. Leather is something, the basic leather isn't that I like to buy. Uh, Coco, let's see if you like fish. Hang on, come here. Someone said you like fish. Let's see if you like, like basic sandfish. So I've got one left. Mm. Plus two. Okay, that's better than minus five, but it's not as good as like all the seeds and things. So I'll probably be just buying seeds, I think, to give to Coco. That's fine, though.
Oh, I've gone too far. I wanted to go to Vivi's place. However, you're here, aren't you, little Nemo? Let's give you... Um, about the only thing that I can think to give you is jerky, so I'll try that again. Yeah, okay, so we've managed to, like, give enough pieces of jerky. Like, I think it might be that I'll have to take a bit of a hit between giving jerky until I can make dog food. Let's see. How are we doing with Nemo? So Nemo's already at half a star. Just from just from jerky, so that's not too bad, is it? Macchiato, people are saying that they don't think up until the first 25 points that it adds anything onto the stars. So if Macchiato is just slightly under 25 points at the moment, then that might be why that's not showing. It looks like there's a tiny, tiny little sliver there that might might be going in at 10 points i'm not sure whereas like coco i think is on zero and there isn't even anything there it's like the tiniest little the first one you see it on is a mirror tiniest little sliver there just in case you wondered you know no one is um only actually like Mian is an associate, so Mian is a full heart. Owen and Rocky are very close to being associates, as is Yan. So if I could maybe do some critters or something with some of those guys, I might be able to get them to be uh, a little bit friendlier with me. Also, Nemo, did I say hello to you? Because that, that counts, it adds up. Over several days, that'll add up to a few points. And do I know where Macchiato is? And did I keep the opal on me? I did keep the opal on me. But because I've got a nice present, Macchiato will probably be nowhere to be found. It's usually the way, isn't it? But I'll keep that until I see Macchiato, that's fine. Uh, oh, oh no, there's Macchiato. I've got a nice present for you today. That you're going to really Aww. like. Look, it's an opal. You like yeah. opals. Plus ten, there you are. It's better. So when I can get those, because eventually I will be able to mine those, but I'm just not in the right area for it yet. Now then. I did all of that, but did I actually do what I came up here to do, which is buy the leather? Probably not. And we can get the sunshade in for uh, Arvio nice and quick. I have no problem with buying things like that. At all. Mian, come here. Come here. Come back. Where's she going? Come here. <laughs> She's running away. My goodness <laughs> me. Oh, I found her birthday. 20th of autumn. Nice. I don't think you get extra points for birthday gifts anymore, though. I want to see if you like my pick hammer. My old pick hammer. Oh, thank you. It's a good backup in case anything goes wrong. It is actually. How's it going? Getting it. Um, we could do play critters. Very quickly. So fifteen twenty eight. I want to see how quickly I play critters. How much time out of my out of my very precious time is being spent on these on this game. What would you do if I played mouse? I would play a cat. <gasps> Double crosser! Yes! She hasn't played elephant yet. I'm going to play mouse. Ha <laughs> ha! She lies. She lies about playing mouse. She normally plays cat when she says she's going to play mouse. So I'm going to play fox and see if she plays cat. <gasps> she played fox. Oh, double, double crosser. I'm going to say fox. She played a double elephant. That was a tough one. Hmm. 
plus 11. So, like, the, the critters, like, it does better than most gifts that I can give. Honestly, I'm going to do a quick sparring session as well. So far, I have spent uh, one and a half minutes on this. I have stronger strikes, so I'm better off just going with a full-on assault with me on usually. With Yan, I'm better off waiting for him to attack and then getting behind him. Justice, I'm better off just not fighting him. Because he's about level 30. <laughs> so, that sucks. Oh, stone pile. I'll gather that. Trying my best to gather to the full extent of my uh, stamina every day. It doesn't work every day. Sometimes I just have a busy day and I can't or, or don't. Am I getting stone out of this or stone scrap? Just stone. And I actually do have a lot of stone already. I never know whether this, the tree stumps are something I'm allowed to cut. I just try not to cut things in in the in the town area, but it's hard when you don't have anywhere else to go but the town area. Okay, let's see how the copper screws are doing. I think they are done. So that means that although I took this quest yesterday, I think, I can now hand it in take another one ah this is for Ryan and Ryan is still apparently at home even though it's like half past three Ryan and Darn B's home so have I even seen Darn B yet Where are you Ryan you upstairs re re better not be in your room room Commission. Thank you. Dang, now I guess I've got no excuse. Thanks a lot, I guess. <laughs> Dan B. A note to Ryan. For the last time, tidy away your socks and don't just hide them this time. Hiding and tidying away is like the same, right? That's what I thought. So I can now take another commission for the day. I'm also going to do a little bit of finding chests. We've done a lot of finding chests, so I'm hoping that the ones in town will start to not be showing up too too much. Oh, I've, did I put my throwing stones in my inventory? Let me see. <gasps> I did. I did. Okay. If I do nothing else today, if I do not do one single other thing, I'm having another crack at that one up there. Because that really annoyed me. I had it, and then I just... If I had been stood on the fence, I would have had it. 100%. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand on this fence here. I'm going to get my throwing rock. I'm going to press Q. And I'm going to go... Bink! <laughs> and now we have... Uh, Q again to come out. Uh, now I have an awesome chest that now will not show up every two seconds on my map. And annoy me. It had 500 goals in. Oh yeah. And it will also give me a wooden board. And a level. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay, I should get some of my wooden scrap of, uh, together. Uh, let me have a quick look at my missions. So, so at the moment, made in the shade. There's no other missions around. Can't believe that I was looking around on the map all the time and it's just sat right there. That's so much easier. Not that it's wrong or anything to look on the map, but it's so much easier the other way. So I've got my basic leather now, so the sunshade can go in. And on the way I can grab a new commission for the day. And as long as that's done by sometime tomorrow, I am very happy. If I put one of those in my yard, I will get eight defense points. Good to know. 
It's a bit big for my yard. I prefer smaller things if I can. Then I don't have to have a, such a big house. Right, uh, Commerce Guild. There's a couple of very tricky chests around. Uh, but I'm going to try my best to get as many as I can. Right, let's have a look. Six thick rope. That shouldn't be too difficult. That's just plant fiber. A Yakmel horn bracelet. What do I need for that then? I'll need a primary jewelry processing machine, which I do not have. Ten wooden sticks. Or a sand hat. That sand hat keeps coming up. I desperately need to research a tailoring machine, like, right now, this second. Now, I think I'm going to take thick wood, thick rope because I need all of my wood for my uh, current quest. So that is fine. That's a good one to take. I'm happy with that. I'm happy just to go and sort things out with that. Right, so the next thing I think I want to do then is to head over to Cheese. I should have gone in, shouldn't I, when I was up there getting that chest, but never mind. This is why we have a horse, so we can go back and forth around the place. I will be hiring one until the point I can buy one at this point. Just because it's so much easier. I didn't used to like the horse. I'm very used to it now. I'm just going to finish this tea. It's gone cold. Oh. Okay. There. So we want to make um, like a tailoring machine. So I think we've made all of the basic stuff and we'll be going on to civil things soon and that's fine by me but I'm thinking that let's get the um, tailoring machine so I can make sand hats if I was able to make sand hats I'd be able to get so many more points so I feel like that is something that is holding me back um, also the primary jewelry pr processing machine if I'm going to be asked for things like rhino horn or whatever it is uh, like bracelets and things and that would be quite useful. Then also after that I'd like to get the blender because I can then make dog food for uh, Mac, uh, not my cat, I can then hopefully make dog food for uh, Nemo. And if I can get those guys up to two hearts then hopefully I will be able to make them my pets. But we'll see. I might have to wait for a certain quest but having them there already does not hurt. Okay. Let's go and install the sunshade for Arvio. It's interesting how how these things come in. Those letters, um, you know, the letter I got this morning, I wasn't expecting that to be coming in quite so early in the game at all. Because that was added quite late into early access. Sunshade! Not that we need it at this time of night, mm -hmm. but... I, okay, I can finally enjoy the oasis view in the shade. I've been bugging old Mason to help me forever, but it was it. It was always busy this, busy that. I'm so glad you're here. Done. Oh, I've got a mirror relationship as well, and a seaside casual hat, which will probably help me with a little bit of uh, extra. I've got my sand hat on at the moment, but I will need my sand hat in case it gets sandy. So, I mean, I could hand that in and get the goggles instead. But the goggles are so ugly that I really want to make sure that I just have a sand hat. Oh, I know, but I'm not even showing my head. But I would know. Okay. So the seaside casual hat gives me an extra five stamina and two defense. Lovely. Okay, so we're still looking for wooden boards. Um, I try not to go in the oasis. It doesn't like me doing that. And then we're looking to do my rope commission as well. So I've still got quite a bit of stamina left. So let's... I could gather some sand breeze. I really do need to do some sand fishing as well. And then um, sort of salt them. And that is apparently quite a good... You know when you're looking for like a general present that's quite good for most people? I think salted fish is quite a good one for a lot of people. It's like a middle one, gives a good five to seven points for a lot of people sort of thing. So I'll build two wooden boards. 
I've already got two. That would bring me up to four. So I'm going to need quite a bit more. Um, I barely have any. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I've got some wood scrap that I can... Actually, I might put like six in one and six in the other. Seems as I have two recyclers, that'll make it happen a little bit faster. I could do with possibly topping up the fuel on that right-hand one. Hopefully that'll just take dregs. If not, I do have power stones if that is needed. But those are quite nice to give as little gifts to people. I don't think uh, many of the sort of building sort of guys, although I think they prefer slightly nicer power stones and gems and like higher value stuff that I don't have access to yet is really good. Which is why critters is so good now, because critters is a way that I can get sometimes like 10 points plus with someone for very little effort. So the other thing that I can do to try and get wooden boards, um, and you've guessed it, is to... <laughs> It, it, yeah, it is to go and get chests, unfortunately. So that is something that I'm going to be doing. Um, I would like to also maybe get an, a third uh, box from Arvio. The Arvio's boxes are bigger than the ones I can build at the moment, I believe. So it's probably better that I do that. And I'm going to be cutting down some sand grass and yakthorn, get myself some plant fiber. make myself rope. I need six ropes and I think it's something like four per rope. So six times four is 24. So far I have 19. I need five more then. one should do it. It should be plenty. Lovely. Alright then, let's go make those ropes. And if they're done already today, then that's fantastic. Six stick rope. Lovely. Mission updated. Let's go. Hand that in. And I can spend the rest of the day um, like in the mines, or I can spend it talking to people. Oh, okay. I might struggle to hand this in depending on where the person is I'm handing in. I think it might be Elsie. Yeah, I'll have to hand that in first thing in the morning. But I've got it, and it means I'll be able to immediately hand it in and take out. Maybe it's time for me to go to bed. Let's play some critters with justice. I'm not going to spar with you. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> You'll just, I'll just lose. Although, I think I still get points even if I spar and lose, so... Mmm, you want with a fox? I'm gonna go mouse. <gasps> he went cat! Oh no! I should have gone fox. I went cat, he went mouse. I'm gonna go elephant. Yeah! You gonna go elephant first? Fox? Loads of mice. Mouse. Ah, oh, he went cat. No. Mouse again. Yeah. Elephant. Cat. Should have gone fox. He's gone cat, cat. Elephant? I think he might go fox. Oh, I went mouse. No. Elephant. He won't go mouse again. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 15 relationship points from that. Like, this is like OP. Where is OP? This, this early in the game. Like, later game, I'll be able to just give loads of presents that are like worth plus 15, but that's not, it's not easy to come across. This is like, and it doesn't use stamina. I don't think it even really uses that much time. It uses my time. Mian, you want to spar? 
Oh no, we already sparred. Oh, we can spar again. Cool, let's spar again. I want to get all the points. All the social points. Ooh, she nearly got me then. Ow. Yeah, I've got her on a break. Middle mouse to lock, apparently. No, I immediately started losing when I did that. <laughs> I clearly just need to go with what I know. Right. Plus three Mian relationship for that. Lovely. She kind of ran away quite fast. Poor thing. We best go to bed, though, before I completely, like, get bad eyes, you know? Don't want bad eyes. So if Mason has left now, I'm thinking it might sort of start going on to the next part of the main story. There seems to be something going on outside. It's also a Friday, so it's a fang day as well. It will remind me of that in a minute. Oh dear. Oh, it's this one. Logan's holding up the train. It's in the back. I'll go. Everybody hands up. Nobody moves. Hey now, hands up. No funny business. <laughs> He's looking a bit bored. <laughs> well? I got it. Let's go. <sighs> Freeze, Logan. We've got you now. What were they okay. after? Ah, Consarn it. Not again. <gasps> I love that they had gliders for that and they got away with... Gl they jumped out the train window and went... And glid away, I guess. Glided away. It's amazing. Okay, so pick up a few wooden... Actually, I had... I'm getting wooden balls coming straight off the recycler a little bit. I think. Did I? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But I can make another two. Is that all I need? So I already have four. I'm making four. I only need 10 for the mission. It's taking forever, this one. Right, let's have a look at my mail. A letter from Ma. Dear she lab, I got a telegraph from the Atara post office saying that the designs on my quilt looked a lot like a Duvos code language. Can you believe that? I don't know anything about Duvos except they're a bunch of poo bars. So they held the quilts and sent people to come and ask a bunch of questions here. Luckily, the Highwind Authority stepped in and vouched for me. Quilts should be on the way now. What a headache. Love you lots. Ma. Ah. Do I need to reply? No. That's weird. Okay. And reminder to go to Fangs. And there's a lot going on today, though. So... There's a chance I may forget about Fang by the time I've done this cutscene that's coming up here. So you're telling me you didn't see anything? I saw a fire in that man's eyes. A burning desire for vengeance that sent chills through my very essence. All right, pal. Did you see anything that will hold up in a court of law? Not to that effect. No, I didn't. So let me get this straight. None of y'all saw him take anything. Nobody got robbed? Must be something on the train. Excuse me, Captain, sir. Ernest, Atara Times, would you be able to comment on all the wild allegations surrounding this incident? Who is this Logan, and what are his motivations? Do you believe he may be in possession of weapons of mass destruction? Dang, you don't get out much, do you, partner? First off, I'm the sheriff around these parts. Captain's the cat. <laughs> Second, I'm the one asking the questions here, not the other way around. Dang reporters, almost made me lose my train of thought. Train? Ah, yeah, the train robbing, or lack thereof. Well, we still got him for attempted hijacking, resisted arrest, unlawful use of firearms. I'll add it to the pile. Y'all are free to go. And remember, 
If any of y'all think of any info you think we can use to catch Logan, run on back to Civil Corps double time. Okay. So hopefully you guys don't mind me doing like um, lots of things like I can't wait to get out. Of Actually, maybe we should have a chat with Ernest. Hi. Can I chat with you? Apparently I cannot. That's Just fine. What's going on around here? That is fine. I'm gonna head straight over to Fangs and then I'll come back and do uh, questy stuff. If I don't go to Fangs, I will forget. And I really do want to be doing the things. I don't want to be getting to like mid to late game and realizing that I've got like half a star with him or something, you know? So let's go. What are we going with today? Brown one today, I think. Oh, stinky. Fang relationship Only plus three. This medicine wasn't good. Temporary. Your stomach is starting to hurt. Can I experiment more? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well that's my that's my lot for today. So like how am I looking with Fang now? Probably not much different. Oh yeah, Fang is going towards a half heart now. So yeah, that's fine. Oh no! <laughs> that stomach medicine was not good. So, so far the blue one was okay, the brown one was bad. I haven't tried the other one. I don't know if there's a way to know which ones are good and bad or whatever. Um, so, oh yeah, I need to hand in my commission to Elsie. That's another one that I want to quickly do before I start on anything else. Hembe. So Elsie's probably looking after the Yakmels. Right then, so let's have a chat. Mm -hmm. They say Logan hijacked a train. I can hardly believe it. I used to know him. He ain't that type of guy. And there's your commission. Ah. Shoot, when did I post that commission again? That was mighty quick. Wait till I tell my Yakmal about this. So we get quite a lot of like Elsie commissions. I'm gonna pick up that manure. You know why? Apparently. It's not a bad gift for Nemo, someone said, so I will try that. Okay, so something's got- I need to speak to somebody around the train station area. Ah, Yan. Okay, hello, Yan. Ha <laughs> ha! Wandering around aimlessly, eh? That is so you. Shut right up, it's news. so you. I've got something you can do right here. <clears throat> yes, I was hoping to uh, run into one of you builders. You see, that pesky Logan has struck again. More specifically, he struck this here train window. And, uh, yeah, you know the drill. Guess who needs to fix it? Jackson me. called me over all in a huff. Where, 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 my poor widow Twain? Normally, I wouldn't entertain, let alone reward such babery. But Matilda was standing right there. So, yeah, better get it done quick. <laughs> but Matilda was standing right there. Yeah, Matilda's scary. Okay, let's but go. But all of that is neither here nor there since you're here, clearly with nothing better to do. So you'll have no trouble accepting this commission, am I right? The train is stopped now at the station. Just get some glass and fix the window. Should be easy as pie. Well, off you go then. Scoot. Come see me when it's done for your pay. All right, and I guess I better get some glass going. Um, map, uh, mission. Cover my glass. <laughs> Build a cruise. Okay, RBO has another one apparently. Runner up wants me to help him with deliveries. Okay, so I'll go and find that in a minute. Other than that, I've got to make some glass. Apparently, I am one DNAS short of what I need. So let's chop up some gravel. Never know, a shiny scorpion might run out one of these days. I swear I got everything but DNAS out of that. <laughs> I got one piece of DNAS. But that was all I needed. That's fine. 
So 10 pieces of glass. So we'll just sit and wait for those to be done. And when they're done, they're done. And in the meantime, I need to find wooden boards. Or things that can help me make wooden boards. Um, we have four already being made. Well, actually, one already being made now. So I need enough for two. Uh, a wooden board takes five, so I need ten pieces of wood. Do we have any on here? No. Do we have any on here? No. Okay. That is good to know. Alright, so let's uh, head up here and just grab any wood scrap or wood piles or anything that we can see. And if I don't have anything else to do... Did I take a permission? I did not. Okay, well, we'll grab the wood uh, if there's any. If there isn't. Oh, rat, 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 rat. Uh, there's something up here. No, that's hardwood. Can't do that one. Mmm! That's no good. There is no wood for me. I don't even think I can chop up these logs and stumps. I think I'm allowed to, but I think I um, can't do it with such a rubbish, tiny little axe. So, is that wood? That might be a wood pile. What I may need to do though, if I really can't find enough, is to go and find more treasure chests in town and get the wood from the actual treasure chests. Mian is running around like a woman possessed. She's like, let's go. So I've got eight pieces of wood. I can make one more. Okay, none of that wet made wood scrap, but I got pieces of wood. Uh, so I can make one more, and then I need I need one more after that. Okay, let's just go and find a treasure chest. We've got to be able to find one, right? There's got to be one somewhere around here. And so you see, uh, that mischievous little Mion made a teensy little mistake. When she said that we don't charge for overnight commissions, uh, what she meant to say is that actually, we do. In fact, that's an understatement. We charge out the wazoo for overnight commissions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know all about the overnight policies. It's just that Mian said she thought she could get us a discount. Why do you need a discount? You're minted. Yes, well, she's been overruled. Sorry, old pal, but if we made an exception for you, we'd have to start making exceptions for everyone. And that would be far too exceptional. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't want to shortchange the good folks over at the Commerce Guild. Oh, bless him. He's like, I wouldn't want to, like, shortchange you. Oh. That's what I love about you, Owen. Always so perfectly punctual with your payments. Well, I must be going. My employees won't reprimand themselves, don't you know? <laughs> so long! Oh, you're such a little slime ball, Jan. Oh, hey! Uh, you've come at just the right time. So, the wildest thing happened. Uh, Grace had a little spat with the oven and, uh, <laughs> long story short, blew the whole kitchen to smithereens. Oops. Don't worry. Everyone's fine. And luckily, Mian was available to help out with damage control. Ah, so that's what you're getting charged for now. So that's all well and good. My issue now is that the night the kitchen exploded, Grace insisted she'd take a pay cut until all the repairs were paid for, and she wouldn't take no for an answer. But now... Now, without me Anne's discount, I just can't let Grace foot the bill. She'd uh... be scraping by for months, if not years. I paid Yen already. It's water under the bridge in my mind. Because, you know, these things happen. I, I can't stand letting her take on such a huge burden. She's just a student. Yeah. All right, so here's where you come in. As a builder, you can just convince her that the repairs aren't that expensive. <laughs> then she won't feel so bad and 
maybe she'll just forget about the whole thing. It's foolproof. Look, it, okay, so morally here, this is a lie, but it is a lie for a good reason and we're trying to stop a student having to pay loads of money, so let's go. All right, uh, but uh, let's not be too hasty now. We need to be prepared if we're really going to change Grace's mind. She really has a way of turning things around on you. <laughs> uh, maybe she's on the debate team or something. <laughs> Here's the deal. Whatever she asks you, just follow my lead. Capiche? Don't let her throw you off your game. Stick to the plan. Okay. Guess we're as ready as we're ever going to be. Let's go track down Grace. I'll be right behind you. Okay, let's find Grace. I think I saw her just go inside. And then we'll 100% take a commission and go and find that last piece of wood. Uh huh. Hmm. Have a chat. I know Logan's type. Brash, bold, likes to show off, total meathead, thinks brute force is the answer to everything. Harrow and I don't get as much. Always the quiet ones, huh? Oh, Haru, I don't get as much. Um, okay, so... A lot of people are saying Sandrock is going downhill, but for migrants like me, the cost of living makes it a pretty attractive place. Am I, I meant to be, like, in the kitchen or something? Oh, yeah, I meant to be in the kitchen. All right. Hmm. I just need to put in a bit of salt. <gasps> no, that's nitric acid. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, boss. She's totally distracted. She's trying to study while cooking. That's why. Uh, seems someone hasn't quite learned their lesson, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, look who I've brought. Your friendly neighborhood builder here to help us come to a, a conclusion on that whole explosion incident oh hey and you're still on about that owen that was a terrible mess and i'm completely to blame i'll be footing the bill in full for the kitchen restoration regardless of what you may have told the builder here uh, hey uh, come on grace it's it's no biggie and and even if it was the blue moon has plenty set aside for rainy days or explosive days for that matter I see my chest I need. Anyway, everything is taken care of now, and it hardly cost me a dime. Uh, don't believe me? Just ask for a second opinion here. Wink, wink. Hmm. All right, I'll bite. You plan to tell me the truth now, don't you? 100%. Let's begin. What is your name? Huh? Where are you going with this one? I have my reasons. Your name, please. Uh, she okay, up. next qu Next, where are you from originally? High wind. wind. Nice weather this time of year, yes? Very windy, I've heard. That'll do. Now I know what you look like when you're deciding whether or not to answer truthfully. Next, I'll be asking what I really want to know. And don't even think about bending the truth to help Owen change my mind. Got it? I can read you like a book. Mm. Now, Builder, tell me. <laughs> How much did it cost to renovate the Blue Moon Kitchen? <clears throat> you know, uh, more than a few glasses of milk, <laughs> but less than a herd of yakmal. <sighs> Grace, it's fine. I wish you'd just forget about all this. Good cheap. Yep, just like I said. Hmm. I see. Next. The events in question occurred two days prior, and on the second day, when I came to work, the kitchen was already as good as new. Something here doesn't add up. Don't tell me you builders are dabbling in magic. Explain. Mian is a witch. What's your angle, Grace? <laughs> the two new builders in town are both riled up and full of vinegar. You're just used to old Mason and his whiny ways. Nothing unusual here, right? Yep, normal. I could do it too. Hmm. I see. Next question. <laughs> Regardless, Owen must have had to pay me on for working overnight. Tell me how much that would have been. Ah, uh, well, uh, be that as it may, <laughs> the kind lady that she is, Mian gave me a discount. Uh, the difference in the bill was so small, I almost forgot about it. Yeah, just a little more than usual. Okay, next question. 
Grace, 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 I Grace. Be too Enough with the third degree. There's really nothing more to be said. Boss, you sure have a lot to say for someone who says there's nothing to say. Why do you always butt in whenever I ask a question, huh? It's starting to seem like you two are in cahoots. <laughs> cahoots? I, I mean, uh, what even <laughs> is a cahoot, funny. really? I think this whole ordeal has you on edge. Uh, but all right, have it your way. I'll zip it. Continue with the interrogation, please. If something like this happened in the Commerce Guild, would your boss, Yan, handle it like Owen? Which is to say, would he insist on paying the damages out of his own pocket? I don't really know. Yeah, but the thing is, I think you do. Hmm. Bet you two think you're pretty slick, huh? Owen, it couldn't be more obvious. You did put up to this little charade. However... <laughs> All right. That's the ticket. Oh, whew. And now we can finally move on from this. Owen, I must say, your dedication to your employees makes you not just the owner here, but an inspiring leader as well. I'm proud to call you my friend. <laughs> oh, shucks. Well, I think we wouldn't be seeing eye to eye if not for the builder here. <laughs> uh, you might even say we have an unspoken bond. Here, take this for your troubles. Call Gosh, it a consultation me. fee. Yes, thank you for helping us resolve this. I'm in your debt. No, no, <laughs> no debts. That's the whole point of all this. <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. Catch you, Builder. Okay. Owen became my associate and plus 15 with Grace. Nice. You're doing well. There's an omelet and two chilies in there. Brilliant. But what I'm after, actually, is the treasure chest itself, because hopefully it will give me my last wooden board that I need. There's one already being made in my workshop, you see. And we're getting there with the glass as well. So now I need to go and grab a commission, I think. I don't think I've got a commission today. So everything oh hardwood everything right okay hardwood plank hardwood stick if i could do these that would be awesome let me just see if a hardwood plank or a hardwood stick is possible if i upgrade my axe because it would be worth doing if i can like i want to get the things together to get these better commissions Okay, let's see if that's something I can do today. But it's no good if I need to upgrade the machines. So let's have a look. So can I make a hardwood... Yeah, I could make hardwood sticks and hardwood planks on my, pro on my just standard processor. So if I can upgrade my axe... To a bronze axe, hopefully I could get the hardwood together. So I would just need five bronze bars. Ugh, okay. Do I have enough for five bronze bars? I do. But I might want to build another furnace for it first. Okay. So let's start by building another furnace. I think it's been needed for a while anyway. Let's see what I've got that I can put in there. So wooden sticks. Quartz. Just the stone troughs now. Okay, two stone troughs. Wasn't too bad. I'm wondering where to put it. Ah, I always pick it up, but I, I, I want to pick it up in my hand so I can put it down somewhere else. That's very annoying. Very annoying. Ooh, my Desert Defender shirt. Actually, if I'm doing... Um, the Backer's t-shirt is still slightly better for stamina and things. So... Let me...
I find that furnace wherever I went. Where did it go? Am I being totally dumb? But I don't. I don't see my furnace. Uh. Yes, I was apparently. Right, so furnace number two. Uh, I can just go in around here somewhere. There's actually no reason. I can sort of run between them. I could. Even, I could. I could totally fill that up with machines if I wanted to. Right, so I want to make five bronze bars. And see how long that's going to take me. Take me seven and a half minutes. I am slightly wondering whether I should... Whether I should take a hardwood one or whether I should... I don't know. Anyway, I need to get a sharpening stone. Regardless. And then once the bronze is done, I can upgrade. I, I just don't... Ooh! Worth it! just sells copper and bronze bars straight off the bat and bronze weapons although apparently I need level 12 before I can get those but what that is so good yeah that should I should be able to take those uh, commissions now because I'll be able to get the hardwood what's going on Mian I'm here Oh my goodness, you're a nightmare. Good job. I've got mine as well. Let's just take a good rest today and start our special builder crew job tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll come find you in the morning. Oh, okay, so I had all the builder crew stuff. Nice. Right, so uh, where was I? I was making my axe, wasn't I? My bronze axe. Now, I think my bronze tools will last me quite a while. I think it's quite a while, but I think the next one you go up to will be iron, and I think that's quite a way in. Before you get iron so hopefully I'll have a much better workshop by then but I think I have everything I need to upgrade to us to a bronze axe now oh except for the copper screws did I put those on of course not those will take a minute to do okay well, in that case, I'm going to go and... Because I know I can make the axe. I'm going to go and take a commission for, like, some wooden sticks or some wooden boards or something. And then I'll go and just collect hardwood for it. And that'll be so much better, taking those two-star commissions. Um, so I get 30 for either of them. Hardwood stick, four of them in the processor, or hardwood planks, three of them. I already own four? What? Alright then. Oh yeah, I probably got them from doing chests. It doesn't hurt that I upgraded my axe though, because I think uh, there'll be more commissions for that. However, I can immediately go and hand that into Arvio for like, four some extra points. Oh, gee, I hate stairs and horses. They just do not go. Okay, let's just walk up these stairs. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, Avio is in the museum. Okay. And while I'm doing all of this, the uh, glass is slowly cooking away. Avio is in the museum. Hey, Builder. Hot shopping again? Unfortunately, right now I have such a backlog, I just can't make time to help you. If only I could slip myself into thirds. 
want to watch the shop, want to deliver packages, then the last could go to the game center and just have fun all day. But alas, justice delivery alone might take all three parts. Need some help? That would be greatly appreciated. It's a simple delivery. You just need to help me run this over to the customer. You see, this is a special condiment ordered by Owen for the Blue Moon Saloon. Expertly made in Walnut Groove. Legend goes that with this seasoning, even a rock can be made into a delicious meal. Oh, that sounds um, mightily, dentally hazardous. <laughs> the Blue Moon Saloon is one of by the stairs' most cherished customers. Though, still, I do hope Grace doesn't let it go to waste. I'm a little worried about that. Yeah, me too, having seen her cooking just now. My store guarantees delivery within 24 hours upon supply arrival in town, so please don't forget. When you've delivered it, I kindly ask that you return to me and let me know. Thank you. Okay, and also we have the commission. Thanks. Brilliant. What else could I expect coming from someone such as yourself? Please take this for your troubles. Nice. We're getting some good, um, uh, some well, better anyway, commission friendship points. Mm -hmm. Chat. I never really got to know Logan, but Haru? I wish I knew how he got mixed up in all this. Be seeing ya. I'm doing quests for you, so I don't really need to play critters with you at the moment. I don't want to like bore you all with hundreds and hundreds of critter games, but they are so good that I need to do a few. So we'll try and sort of... We'll try and keep it to a minimum. Right, I'm going to go check on the glass now. Also, I kind of kind of want to have a just... A, I, forgive me, but I want to have a little look at how I'm doing. I'm starting to take better commissions now. I'm starting to tech up enough that I'm able to take ones that are slightly nicer. So, oh wow! Yes! We are chasing slack now. Like quite a margin. Wonderful. Uh, so we are on the 12th day. We're halfway through the month. Um, I don't know whether the first time I will be able to beat Yan. I think I could at least get second place quite easily. And then I think by the end of autumn, because we're in summer at the moment, by the end of autumn I think I can get past Yan as well. So we'll see. But yeah, 500, that's not bad going. Because if I can only get like, say, 30 points, 30 points a day, and I've got 12 more days left, how, how many days actually in a, in a month here? So I've got one, two, seven, seven, 14, 16 days. So 16 times 30, uh, I could do it. Could I? No, 16 times 10 is 160. And then 16 times 3. Uh, 160. 32. Yeah, so I'm only going to be able to get like another 500 points. I don't actually think it's physically possible. Unless I manage to get extra points from main quests and things like that to get past Yan in this first year. Unless I can start taking two commissions a day soon. That might change the landscape a bit. Oh, I need to fuel up my furnace. There's no water going. Still quite well. I got loads of water from Burgess. I should, at some point in the next couple of days, just go over and see how much good water he's got. I also have a point to spend in social. The more rep. Ah, oh, yep. Let's get that. 10% extra workshop reputation. That would be extremely useful. Right, so I've got the things I need for my axe upgrade. Which I think is going to be super useful to have. Uh, 
Um, we're still waiting for the glass. We're waiting for Mian. So I could either go and find treasure chests, go play critters with people for the rest of the episode. Oh, there's something going on. Oh yeah, I could hand in the spices for Arvio. Yeah, that's a thing I could do. Absolutely. I, I feel bad because my horse's loyalty keeps going up. Ain't this the package I ordered from by the stairs? Why are you the one out here delivering it to me? Because I'm nice. Ah, so you're helping Arvio. <laughs> we'll take a Yakmo milk on the house. Consider it a little tip from me. He's so generous. I can see why I wanted to marry him in the in my other version. I'm not going to in this one though. But he is lovely, isn't he? <laughs> okay. Um so I did that. I forget what the mission oh, it was L for mission, okay. So I need to go talk with Arvio. And wait for Mian. And there are no other quests that I can see. I will have a look at the map as well, because sometimes some of the little things that show up on the map don't always show up everywhere. Okay. In that case, I'm going to have a little run around looking for chests then. So that one on that windowsill there, I'm going to have another go at trying to get that. Let's see, because it's a, it's a tricky one. Definitely a tricky one. I just feel like it's going to be a case of running around and trying to make the jump each time. I still haven't made any salted fish for macchiato either. So what if I went down here? And try to jump from there. Hmm. Uh, so that's not going to work. So definitely, as a builder, you would think I could build something to make that jump, but never mind. I'm like, I don't remember this being this tricky before. But also, I don't remember ever trying to get that chest before, so I probably just never did before. I might have a, an interesting book in it or something, though. Okay, I made it over to the roof. It wasn't quite what I wanted. You can't drop down from the roof either because the roof overhangs. So it's not great. Okay, went to the roof again. Oh yes, I did it. I got a blessing pendant. Oh, it looks like the shelf drops. So what I could have done, and what would have been easier in that case, if the shelf drops, you could have probably thrown a stone at the shelf and um, it would have dropped down. Okay, so that's why that one was so tough. Good to know. Okay, so the next one I'm going to want to do is I want to get on the roof of that place. Which I think is maybe down... I don't know whose house it is, but we want to get on the roof of that place. So that I can drop down onto that like bridgey bit across. I know I'm so technical with my details, aren't I? Um, so onto this roof, so that I can drop down here because I think there is a chest somewhere on here. Is it Inside here. Aha! Got you. We got a diamond. That is a very nice present. I think for Yan. Because Yan likes all things. He likes quite a lot of relics. He likes diamonds. He likes gold. And I got a hardwood plank from that as well. Is that all of the chests around here done now? I think so. There's still this like crazy missing one. And maybe it's 
for sale. Sale date to be arranged. Ooh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to get a shop at some point. There's a chest apparently somewhere around here. And I still haven't been able to find it. I'm going to just head round the back and see if I can get onto the roof. But that one I just like most of them I see I see where they are. This one I have not been able to at all. It's not on the roof. And it's not underneath either, because there is a bit underneath as well. It's apparently directly underneath me here. I wonder if it could be inside the apartments. Maybe I will have a look inside the apartments next time, because there was one inside the Blue Moon Saloon. Because it's about the only thing I can think for that one. Oh, and I'm already over time. Hugely. Chest hunting does that. However, I got some, some magical concealer. Don't worry, I can sort that out. So I think we should go home. But we found a couple of really, really tricky chests. There, so I'm quite happy with that. But there is still a couple that are just... Uh, that are... Eluding me. They are being very sneaky. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.